Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf, your one and only, and I am back with some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Link. Now, I have been, um, loving up a little bit. Nope, and enjoying the game a little bit. A little bit too much. But, I did get a few cards and stuff. Kinda-ish. Kind uh, I did unlock the trader. The card trader. He only, um, unlocks at around, like, level... No, stage 7. So you have to be at stage 7 to unlock this guy. And you can trade in some cards. But you, some of them you need like these little gems. To actually get the card. So right now. Toon Summoner Summon Skull is there. Or there's some cards down here that just cost gold. And you can trade in some keys. For some different keys if you want to. And you know a new pack just came in. Um, I can't really open it right now. So rip that. So what are we going to be doing is. Fighting Pegasus once we get all of our um, stars though. So let's go ahead and duel some people. Now I did unlock um, auto duel. I'm not sure when I unlocked it. I think it was around like stage 8 to 9. Uh, at least I think so. It was one of those stages that gave me it. Because I am stage 10 now and I didn't get, get it around there. So it was either stage 9 or 8. Yeah. But as you guys can see, this gorgeous layout is something I just made this morning. I just basically threw this whole thing together. <laughs> it was actually pretty quick too. I am focusing on trying to make a dragon deck, but a whole lot of things aren't going my way. I'm trying to get to dragon cards, but they never show up in my in my packs openings. It's so weird, man. But I'll show you guys the deck I'm rocking as soon as I'm done. This is the only uh, Grey Wing I have. I only have one. Rip the dream. But what I do have is this. But I'll show you guys auto dueling. Auto dueling is pretty smart, which which is actually pretty scary of how smart auto duel can be. But it's actually a faster way to finish all your duels and everything, other than yourself actually fighting. Yeah, he auto duel just pretty much ends matches like really quick. And not only that, the matches are actually pretty short thanks to the whole only three monster zone and three spell and trap zone. So yeah, it's a lot quicker, sadly. You know, I like the full um, board a lot more, just because it it lasted a long a lot longer and it was more entertaining that way. But uh, this was this was still all right. Oh uh, yeah, me and Perry need to have another match. I won the first one. He's still trying to one v one me, but I doubt he can beat me once again. He made some bad moves. I give him this. He almost had me. If he wouldn't have uh, missed one of his moves, he would have had me. But it's thirty nine, so I need one more to fight level forty pregnant. Pregasus. Pregosis. I just say the most random things. Don't don't judge it. It just happens. Especially when I'm recording. <laughs> or when I'm not recording, I, I still do these things. It's just more fun to record it. Oh, I'm going first. Are you ready, Mickey Mouse? Yeah, we're gonna pulverize you anally. I mean um we're gonna pulverize you. Take you out for a nice dinner. Hope you're ready. Get that crap out of here. Nobody wants you to summon that. I don't want to see that on the field. Get that out of here. But I'll show you guys what deck I'm rocking after we uh, finish this. I, I did beat uh, Pegasus once. And... I think that was mostly by luck. Pegasus level 40 is like so annoying. Like if you discard, okay, yeah, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of pointers when you're fighting Pegasus level 40. Destroy his tune card. That is definitely something you guys are gonna need. Destroy his tune cards. Make sure to get rid of them. Make sure they don't come back. 
and make sure you don't discard a powerful monster into your graveyard or he will summon it use a spell card to summon it to his side of the field and wreck you with it doesn't matter what star it is he'll take it from your from your graveyard and wreck you with it I learned that the hard way when I fought him with my um, red eyes he, he literally grabbed it out of my graveyard and murdered me with it I, I was not happy because he was around like a thousand when I when I was fighting him it triggered me so hard to where I literally want to punch myself in the face at that point but I didn't I didn't I, I restrained the violence okay it was still terrible and annoying but I restrained it I tr at least I tried but <laughs> Pegasus level 40 is oh my god it will give you literally a headache but even if you do lose to uh, Pegasus um, level 40 you still get a huge amount of points which is actually pretty decent as long as you play out the game fully don't um, quit during the um, during the game don't surrender because then you won't get any points you'll get zero nada don't do that trust me I've done it because I was so frustrated. Do not do that. I like this card. Just to throw everything out of play. Keep annoying cards from coming back. Oh, man. There's some cards I'm actually aiming for. But I'm actually trying my hardest to make a dragon deck. As you guys can see, I'm am an armored dragon fan, as you can see from like the um, layout. Let's just get these people out of the way. We only got like five of them to fight, so hey. I normally don't auto duel. I mostly like to do it myself, but while I'm talking, I kind of do want to keep it keep it going because then I'll when I'm talking I'll just pause it and everything or I'll just sit here without doing any more moves especially in a game like this but uh, there are a few cards I'm aiming for that are in the pack right now I'm not sure do are the packs are gonna be a limited time or they're gonna be be permanently there that's what I'm trying to figure out are they gonna be permanently there or are they going to take them down or, or are they just going to leave those up then just add in some um, to add in some limited time ones and put a date on those. Not really sure yet. Or are they just going to keep the packs up there to where you would finish the whole pack and that's just pretty much it. What is this again? you control and banish that target until one okay yeah I don't want to banish any targets unless it's like a character I'm fighting that has something that's really bad put in being put on my side of the field then nah I don't think I want to run that so I figure out a character who is actually running something bad right now the most annoying things that is in the game for me right now are spell cards and I'm trying to get more spells that destroy other spells but it's becoming a hard time trying to get those spells considering I don't there is no hard of cards inside of card pack openings let let's just say that but on my other account apparently there was hard of the cards and dragons on that account but on this account, not so much. Which kind of triggers me. But you know, hey. I am having a lot of fun with this game. So, um, I am thinking about doing Pokemon Duel. Don't worry, because I know some of you guys are going to um, talk about that and probably want me to do that. I will do it, but that would be like way later on because there's so many videos I'm recording as of right now that 
I kind of want to put it off because I have more goals right now. I already have like a list of games I'm going to be playing in order. But let's see. Uh, is that all of them? I believe that's all of them. I think the only person up is Gardener. But you. But there's one thing about um, Auto Duel that you can't do is Auto Duel uh, Legendary. A Legendary Duelist. It turns off. So. When I'm fighting a Gardener, I can't use it at all. Oh god, she's level 20. God damn it. I know, I keep forgetting to show you guys my deck. I'll do it right after. Bad memory, guys. Bad memory. Come on. I'm first. Let's see what you got, Gardener. Oh, I got, okay, I got a pretty decent hand. It seems any card with attack just destroys. Well, yeah, any card with a high attack just destroys uh, most of these NPCs. But once you get into PvP, you'll you're gonna learn that <laughs> the NPCs are nothing compared to other players. <laughs> Unless you're fighting John. <laughs> but yeah. Um, my bad. A uh, little bit of something in my throat. Hmm. But if you guys want to check out Perry, he does stream a lot. He's streaming Minecraft right now, I believe. Let's destroy that. Get that off the field. Let's take him out. But Perry, um... He, he does stream a lot, well, regularly, tries to at least, but I'll give you guys his um, Twitch in the bottom of the description, so you guys can go check it out. I normally see him on um, through the whole weekend, pretty much, so I stream on Friday through Sunday, but Sunday is a different time schedule. You guys can see it on my Twitch stream when you actually look at it. I'm not streaming any, um, like... MMO games right now. I'm only streaming like single player games at the moment. But in due time, in due time, give it time. Let's go ahead and activate that. We don't need him. Get that out of here. You should be able to attack again. Yep, there it is. Bye bye, Gardener. Get out of here. But this deck is nothing versus Pegasus, considering he just summons everything 2000 if you don't destroy his tune card. It's more of a normal du duel if you destroy his tune cards and get rid of the rest of them that are in his freaking hand. Yeah, see, some more people are frustrated with Pegas Pegasus right now, because he's retardedly good. <laughs> I just, I guess I just beat him by luck. I'm just going to say that. I straight up beat him by luck. <laughs> and plus, his, his attack directly is just so retarded, because it's full on damage. And it gets ridiculous. But let's go fight him right now. See how this goes. Mmm, this is gonna be bad. God darn it, I keep. How do I keep forgetting? Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I almost forgot again. Like I said, bad memory. I apologize. That's my dragon deck I'm still working on. Here's pretty much everything you guys can see in my deck. Hey. Got some strawberries. Uh, you guys didn't need to read the skills or anything. Oh, that one is just one, one line or paragraph. And this one is pretty good too. Depending on what people are what cards are on that field at the time. 
I definitely enjoy this one because I do have some Earth cards along with it. And this card's actually pretty decent too. Attacking your enemy twice. But I don't have any wind cards that I know of. Nope, I have the, um, that bird. These are just a few standard cards I have at, at the moment. Just to just, uh, try and do as best as I can. <laughs> Until I get some better cards. That's the only wind card I have in my hand. Well, in my deck. Like I said, you can only carry 30 cards. You cannot carry 40 inside this game. I have two of those. If you guys see any cars that I should probably change or swap out for anything else that are actually inside of my um, box right now. Hold on. Yeah, these are all the cards I have. So if you guys see anything in here that I should probably sw swap out any cards with, then just let me know. I know you guys can't see the skill or anything, but pretty sure some veteran players know know more than I do. And they could probably recognize a card just by looking at it. I mean, my deck isn't all the best, but... I'm, I, I'm trying. I'm limited, guys. I'm limited with what I can use. But, yeah. Oh, yeah, my dragon deck is fairly okay right now, but uh, I need more dragon cards. I was going to do the uh, tyrant, the tyrant, but I don't want to risk it. I already risked it in my... Uh, other account and I got and I got the dragon for it but I don't want to risk it again I'm really hoping they do add in trading because that that's one thing Yu-Gi-Oh is all about trading cards not collectible cards feels weird if you're gonna change up the whole thing all right time to get aimlessly raped here Come on, heart of the cards, man. Give me a good hand. Give me... Just give me a good hand, man. Yeah, I have the um, ability where I get the mountain cards. And he has his tunes. Please summon a fire. Jesus Christ. I did get my block attack, so I'm actually pretty happy about that. So, I'm gonna put this face down. Put this also face down. And put this right here. This is gonna be bad. It has to be the crocodile. It's 100% the crocodile. I swear. It's most likely the crocodile. Here we go, guys. It's. it's it's the crocodile. Oh, no, it's actually not. Okay. That, that's weird. What what the hell is that? Yeah, come back on the field, Jeff. Yeah. Wait, doesn't that destroy next round? Pretty sure that ends next turn. How about no? I don't want to take all that damage. I'm good, fam. I'm, I'm good. Don't don't do it again. Bye bye. Oh. Oh darn! I wish I would have played it. Oh, this would have been great to have. No, 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 no. I need all the HP I can get. I can keep in my hand. <laughs> So, right now it's going okay, but one more hit, please, for the love of God, don't anally fuck me. Don't, don't do this right now. I need this. 
Mermaid. Fuck you, mermaid. Fuck me. Fuck me anally. Oh my god. <laughs> But let's get rid of that shit, please. For the love of God, no, I don't want that on the field at all. That that terrifies me, actually. Uh, let's see, let's see. So that would e I can, I can, I can trade. I can trade. Yes, I can trade. Get that out of here, please. Kill it. Trade it. Good game, Pregasus. Good game. <sighs> Jesus. Okay. That's the second time I've beaten him. I beat him last night, and now I beat him today. Sweet. Yeah, bitch. No, no, Kaiba, chill. <laughs> Already heard all your dialogue. All of them are way too savage. But thank God we actually beat him again. What's this? Yep, Tomb Gator. I got ten this time. How many points do I get this time? Come on, let me see him. Let me see him. Oh yeah, his dialogue comes up first. Duh. Oh yes, so many delicious points, so many rewards. What the hell's this? Tune defense. Eh, I'm not much of a tune fan. I don't really like the tune cards. But you know, it's rather it's okay. It's okay. But this event only lasts to. Uh, Two days from now, uh, I don't think I'm gonna reach here right now, especially here. Pretty sure this is just the table where you can um, put your stuff on. I'm not really a fan of getting all that high, and plus, uh, I would probably love to have this, but I'm really hoping they add in the trading system. They they can't just create a Yu-Gi-Oh game without trading. Even though some people try and abuse the systems, still, a, a Yu-Gi-Oh game without trading is just like a normal collectible card game that gets boring after a time. But, guys, I beat Pegasus. Uh, where is... Yeah, you. You always anally rape me with... God damn it! Why? Ah, oh, we're screwed. We're so screwed. Yep. I hate this dude so much. The Vagabond is annoying. Most of his challenges are retarded. Especially this one. The 1000 um, life points challenge is pretty decent. Oh, okay, okay. It just takes one. It's not like the um, smaller uh, spell field. Where it just gives you one spot and just takes these two. But, yeah. Alright, Vagabond. Come at me, bro. The Vagabond does look uh, pretty dope, though. I like his hat and his old design. Oh, that's exactly what I wanted. Thank you. Let's do this. Screw you, cat. Get out of here. Really? Uh, I hate that card so much. <laughs> Jesus. That's one. That's one of the cards that used to be really annoying to me back then. Um, and like other Yu-Gi-Oh games, like. 
Which one was it? Uh, Duel Academy? I think that's the one that was on PSP. I, I really need to play that. I could just grab a PSP emulator if I need to. I swear to God, if you if you summon another card, I, I swear to God, we're gonna throw hands. Like literally, I'm gonna find you, and we're throwing hands. Even if I have to jump inside the computer, we're throwing hands. But guys, this is gonna be the last duel of the day. Then we should be good on videos. A continuous spell. Oh fuck you! God, this freaking spell jammer. Why, why you gotta be like that? Why you gotta do that? Come on, Vigabond. Now I'm gonna have to wreck you. Goodbye. You're definitely worse than Pegasus. Damn, he called them Pegasus now. <laughs> You're definitely worse than uh, Pegasus. The Vigabond does give you um, stars too that you can use to. Uh, Get the Pegasus. A lot of stars, actually. Oh, I thought I could have followed him again. Oh, but there is somebody else around here. Well, guys, um, I'm going to end the video before I keep going on. But <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this just uh, pretty much event update video of what's going on. They added a new card pack. Flame of the Turn. Tyrant, Tyr that, Ty Tyrone, what? They added another event, or I'm pretty sure you had to be a certain, like, stage for it. Pretty sure it was, like, stage 5 or 4. This was stage 3, 4, or 5. One of those stages is when the um, event opens up to you. So, do make sure to get up to that stage if you guys want to try and get a few a few rewards as you can and make sure you guys really try and get uh, Pegasus actual card before it ends well the actual player where is he yeah he's right here you guys beat him you actually get to play with him which you guys have probably already seen but I can just click on my character and there he is I'm pretty sure you can get him by fighting level 20 or level 30. I pretty much got him fighting level 30 because I just went down the line beating him. I think it only took me two fights before I actually beat it, beat him. Yeah. The first two fights I lost. Then last night I won. Then this time is the fourth. So it took me quite a while to get my cards and beat him again. Nothing will save you from humiliation. But uh, before I end off the videos, a little bit of shots fired. Um, Perry, come at me, bro. Come at me. It, the score is still one to zero. We we can do this. Last time, last time you tried the uh, egg me on, I was a little bit sleepy and couldn't do much. Because I was already in bed and half sleep. So I just pretty much stopped texting you after that. So come at me, bro. Come at me. But I'll see you guys next time. Just a little bit of friend beef. But make sure to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Peace out.